here. Welcome. Hope you're crafting your stash this month, finishing August strong with Craft Your Stash before we get into fall and Christmas and all the things. Anyway, uh, the Junk Journal Folio Challenge from your stash is in the August 1st video along with the challenge information and the giveaway. So check that out. The link's below if you're interested in the description. Today, we're going to make an, uh, a folio from an 8x8 eight eight sheet that we're going to fold in half and we're going to put some pockets and a little closure on it. So I hope you'll join me and let's jump in. Alrighty, Voyages Fantastics is the papers that I brought for this folio and you can see there's a lot of fun papers in here. Even if you're not fond, particularly of steampunk, there's a lot of fun um, designs. So we're gonna take one of the sheets, like either that one, that's pretty. And this is double-sided, so that is really nice when you wanna make a folio because then the inside's already covered for you. So I think we're gonna go with the train, which you could use also for travel if you didn't want to focus on the steampunk. Now, I'm just gonna fold this in half and then burnish the fold, but you could score it. Uh, there is nothing like a dream to create the future. So that's really cool too. And all we're gonna do is fold this in half. Now this is the basic folio, right? So there you have your basic. And all you've done is fold your paper in half. Now we wanna create some pockets on the inside. And I think I'm gonna do um, one basic pocket across here and then a double pocket. And then we're gonna create a closure here. Okay, so we have our basic base for the folder. Now for the pocket, simply just cut a three inch by eight inch piece from another piece of the scrapbook paper and folded it in half this way so that it will fit right in like that. All we're gonna do is we'll glue around the edges but not the center also have another sheet that I'm going to put in to make a pocket behind the front pocket like this and I cut this to about three and a half so that it fits nicely inside the first the front pocket now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round the edges on the outside but not the inside and we're going to ink the edges or vintageize as i like to say to assemble the pockets inside the folio first i'm going to see where i want this one i think i want it up a little bit like this so we're going to take this one and someone asked me about the glue that i use this is my favorite glue it is Kalau. It doesn't soak into paper. It bonds with it though very strongly. And so you don't have that kind of bumpy look that you get with um, water-based glue. This one is alcohol-based. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the edge. I didn't make a, any flaps for these pockets. We're just gonna go with the simple thin pocket and I'm just going to set it about right here centered on this right hand side of the page and this glue also just to mention bonds very well it is not readily available in the US actually um, I get it from crafters companion so whenever I put an order in I order several bottles at once all right, so this is gonna be the big double pocket at the bottom. So I'm not gonna glue this fold just right here on the bottom on both sides and on this side, okay? 
So we're gonna have a pocket here and here. And then I'm just gonna glue this bottom here and this side. close it and press. All right, I'm only gonna put glue on the back because I want this to be able to open. So for the back, we're gonna glue all around up to the fold. And you're just gonna put it on the back where you want your closure to come across in the front. Really simple. And now you can put your um, closure tie there, whatever trim or ribbon that you like. And then on the inside, we've got our pockets. So let me embellish this a little bit. All right, I have everything ready to go. Um, we're gonna do a little piece of washi tape here at the top. This is just washi tape that I have on hand again and we're gonna just push it to the top to make like a little design or border so we're just gonna add this on you can kind of see through it it's a little bit of a transparent or translucent we're just gonna tear that off not really worried about the edges we'll trim this side sure and I want to add a little ink to it to give it um, some depth and to make it look older so I'm just gonna go over the whole thing so that it has that and then I'm gonna bring in some of this Oasis blue which is sort of a turquoise that I've been using and add that in. So we're just going to go over different parts of it just to give it kind of that look. I like, I like it. Okay, then we've got pocket here and here and here. For the left pocket, that thing's sticking to me left pocket I have just a tall like a um, journaling card or bookmark I cut a piece just of the paper to make a little pull or pull for the tag and what I did is I put glue on both sides of it I'm gonna let's see which is the top um, I don't think it matters because it's going in a circle. All right, so we're gonna do it this way. And if you have a stapler, you can just staple that down, but I don't have one with me. So then we're gonna slide that in that pocket there. Then I have some other pieces to slide in, some tags I cut out, again, did the same effect. I also have some embellishment so I'm gonna I just cut this out from the paper and it's the gears and wheels so I'm just gonna put that here and then I have a lock and a key and a heart so all I'm gonna do is glue that on and you can use whatever adhesive that you like okay and then I'm going to put some tags and journaling cards inside the pockets. And we're gonna put this heart over here. All right, and we're gonna put these inside here. And then a little tag, a little tag up here. 
and then you're ready. So I have two words that I wanted to add. Adventure, because we have, there's, this one's well embellished. I mean, you could add more, but I'm just gonna put Adventures Waiting on the inside. And I'm just gonna put it here at the bottom. And then this one. Just carried it from one side to the other. For the trim, I've got some um, adornments trim. And this is really pretty. It goes right along with the colors. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna tie it off here on this side, just in a little knot. Okay, and then I'm gonna wrap this around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it back through the hole, just to hold it in place. And then there you go. Now you could tie a charm on here to weight that down. That would be really cute, but I didn't bring anything with me. And there's your folio. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the folio we made from an eight by eight um, piece of cardstock. We made a wraparound closure with some ribbon or trim. Open that up. And we have a double pocket at the bottom. And on the right, we have two pockets. And put some embellishments, some journaling cards, some tags, and a little washi at the top for a border. So it looks really cute. It turned out awesome. And I hope you enjoyed it. Use your stash. Um, you can make all kinds of things with what you have. Thanks so much for watching.